The second battery is the heart of any dual battery system, and having reliable power is essential for a stress-free adventure. But how do you choose the right battery? Let's dive into battery types and sizes to find out which one is right for you. Choosing the right battery size is all about balance. Too small and you'll run out of power quickly. Too large and you're adding unnecessary weight. With limited capacity, your fridge, lights, and other accessories won't last long before you'll be looking to recharge. Going big will ensure you have plenty of capacity, but you'll need space to install the batteries and a correctly sized charging system to suit. The best way to choose the right size battery is to start with the basics. Let's get an understanding of the differences in battery chemistry. Different battery chemistries all have different performance, weight and lifespans. Lead acid batteries are a popular choice as they're affordable, reliable and can take the heat of an engine bay. But on the downside, they're heavy, have shorter lifespans and only offer 50% of their stated capacity. So if you have a 100 amp hour battery, you really only have about 50 usable amp hours. Lithium batteries on the other hand are lighter, have a longer lifespan with almost 100% usable capacity whilst handling deeper discharges. This means you get more power out of the same rating with a lifespan that's often up to four times that of a lead acid battery. The only downside is lithium batteries can't handle the extreme temperatures often associated with engine bay fitment. Lead acid might be the way to go if you're on a budget, have space in the engine bay and only require limited power. However, if you want lighter weight, faster charging and a longer lifespan, lithium, like a Red Arc Red Lab battery, is the smarter choice. Once you've decided which chemistry you want, then you need to work out how much power you're going to use, so you can decide what size battery you need. Let's start with the most common appliance, a 12 volt fridge. When pulling down to the desired temperature, a fridge will often draw around 5 to 7 amps on average. Once it's cooled down, it'll cycle on and off, only running for about 20 minutes per hour. This can be impacted by a number of factors, the type of fridge, the number of times it's opened, ambient temperature and the temp settings. On average, a fridge will draw 2 amps per hour, or roughly 48 amp hours over a 24 hour period. Using this as a guide, a 100 amp hour lead acid battery will run your fridge for a day. However, a 100 amp hour lithium battery will run it for two days or more without any recharging. Speaking of recharging, adding a DC to DC charger, like a Red Arc BC-DC, will allow you to charge from your solar and the vehicle while driving simultaneously. Adding a solar panel is a great way to keep your batteries topped up throughout the day and will allow you to stay in one spot for longer periods without running the vehicle. Red Arc have a wide range of fixed and portable panels to suit every vehicle and budget. Once we start adding more loads and hydro accessories like converters, the calculations become more involved. So check out our full video on calculating power draw for more information. The right battery size comes down to install location, what you're running and how you're charging it. Wherever you're headed, Red Arc has the power to keep you going. To learn more, visit our website at redarkelectronics.com.